It is mercy. So, let us hope she has a little mercy to share with us on this review table in the review of this Funko Pop. God bless us all. What's going on everybody? It's me, the Prince of FNAF, and we got a great video for you today. This is the Prince of FNAF bringing you all your film and toy review needs. Let's get into it. And so I thought having the light on in the background would be a great contrast to Mercy here. Seems how I think she's supposed to be some sort of futuristic angel of sorts. I haven't really played the game. I just know she's a medic for a a game known as Overwatch. She's a medical um person. And um and my girlfriend dressed up as Mercy for Halloween last year and she did look beautiful. I mean she looks beautiful regardless. But um here is Mercy, the Funko Pop of Mercy. Pretty cool. Her uh her fabric, like all the, the uh, loose hanging parts on her are made of a rubbery plastic so you don't have to worry about snapping those off. However her wings are made of a see through plastic and I wouldn't recommend her going on a shelf where she can easily be knocked down because as you can see there is a crack on one of her wings from her falling off of my windowsill. So keep her on a uh, on a shelf, preferably at the back of the shelf because her wings are made of a thin plastic and will probably crack or even break if you, if you uh, put it the wrong way. But here is Mercy from Overwatch. Pretty beautiful looking pop. I love the hair. I think that's kind of why uh, Sarah chose to uh, be Mercy. She dyed her hair white. And um, she, uh, she, of course, didn't have to put her hair to the side because uh, her hair, she, she likes to style her hair to the side anyway. But she had to curl it up a little bit to the side, which is pretty nice. She had to tie her hair up in a... Uh, ponytail which uh, was pretty nice to see too but uh, let's talk more about the character and not my girlfriend's depiction of the character nothing not that I I would love to talk about my girlfriend as mercy for Halloween last year but that would take that would take a uh, too too long to discuss because there's just so much to talk about but um she wasn't the only one dressed up as mercy there was another teenage girl in a Halloween group of kids trick-or-treating where she was actually dressed up as mercy um, but yeah, here is Mercy. She's got her, uh, I forget the name of the staff. I do know the name of the staff, but I forget it. Um, but there you got Mercy. You got, uh, her, her halo. I don't know if this is correct or not. Does her halo go completely around? Is it supposed to go completely around or? I don't even know. I don't, uh, I, it doesn't matter. She's got her wonderful armored suit on. Even the details. Um, even the details. I like all the oranges and the whites and the yellows. For an angel, this actually is one of my favorite figures, mainly because it represents me and uh, Sarah's first Halloween together. And uh, it also represents just a cool character for my game. I don't really like angels. Those of you who know me uh, will know that I don't love an uh, I don't like angels a lot. Uh, I'm not very religious anymore. In fact, I hate angels. Um, but if those of you who don't know that about me, well, now you do. I absolutely hate angels. Um, but pretty cool. Uh, I like her hairstyle. It does remind me of Sarah a lot. I can't stop talking about Sarah when I'm talking, when I'm joining. You can see she's on a elevated stand. So that means she's always flying, which I think is pretty cool when they do these flying Funko Pops. And they're, he and they're always elevated. Like I had a 11. A levitating 11 and uh, she was uh, elevated on this on this sort of stand as you can see she is levitating a little bit off the ground which is pretty cool um, let's check out her back we can see see that's where the, the excuse me the stand goes in you can see those beautiful wings 
let's hold them up to the light. And yeah, the wings really capture the light. Um, I wish there's a lot more uh, of the see-through light piping sort of going on with this figure. That way you could give it a sense of an angel. But I don't really think that's present because she's not a real angel. She just dresses like one. But uh, pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this review of the um, of this um, of the Spunka Pop. Now I'm just gonna um, go through it. So this pop reminds me of something you might see in the future. You know, see a. Uh, I think she's a young woman. Like I don't think she's a she's a full grown woman yet because she's pretty young. I think she's a young woman. She comes from Russia. I know that, and uh, pretty cool. So let's uh, go on to the sculpt. The sculpt's pretty good. They actually even sculpted in the boobs. I don't know why I'm going on about that. She's got the outfit's pretty good sculpted, and because this parts are made of fabric, it looks kind of natural. And her legs are all like that, so it looks like she's actually flying, holding out the staff, reaching for you, like beckoning you, "Come with me, and you shall be healed," sort of thing. Um, pretty cool. Um, I don't know if this is just part of her costume, or I don't know what that is, but at the bottom of her chin, she's got this weird, uh, weird, um, I guess, I don't even know what that is. You got her halo, which doesn't go all the way around, which kind of bothers me. I mean, it isn't an angel, so it can't really bother me that much. You got her ponytail tied up. She's even got eyelashes, pretty cool. You can see the buttons and the dials all over. For her, and um, pretty cool. Actually, uh, me and Sarah it, well, did a couple's uh, costume. Uh, last thing I'm going to talk about me and Sarah. <laughs> I can't stop talking about her. Um, but we did a couple's uh, costume. I was the Reaper from Overwatch, and she was uh, she was um, the Mercy character, as we see here from Overwatch, which is pretty good. Um, the um, Reaper costume really fit my dark yet uh, charming personality, and uh, the M Mercy costume really fit her kind, nurturing, benevolent sort of personality. Um, she had a personality. She's one of the best girls that you can really, really uh, know. She has the kind of personality where, where she cares about everyone, even if they're stone cold heartless. She cares about everyone. And that's what makes her the best. She could never hurt anybody. She always finds a positive in everything. She's just a really good all-around girl. But uh, yeah, pretty good. Uh, Mercy, like, uh, like they did a really good job on this. Like, I'd say they did just a good job as they did with the Audrey Two from from a uh, Little Shop of Horrors. Audrey Two is so good; it doesn't even look like a Funko Pop, which is really good. Um, yeah, so you got her breastplates going on, and you got uh, that cool skirt-looking thing going down, which I think they did a lot of good detail in. However, the side pieces, if you notice, the side pieces are actually made of plastic, so be very careful. You might break them off. However, this, uh, I guess, uh, drape is made of a bendable plastic, so you're good. But the side pieces, like her... I guess her hip um, blades, like her thigh, thigh pieces, like on her armor, are hard, and so there's lots of pieces that you can break off in here. But it's pretty cool. I like the pose she's in. She's flying, and she's like, "Come to me." Pretty cool. Um, really captures the likeness of Mercy in the video game. Hope you guys enjoyed it, this uh, figure review. Don't let the loud outro spook you on the way out, and do take care.